What is up, everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing you the latest Brutal Lays video. This is on the world premiere of the Little Ghost. Just had the Little Ghost event, which was called the Glutton event. If you were somehow able to get the third reward, which I didn't even come close, <laughs> you would get the Red Ghost. I ended up getting the second reward, which was the Ghost Cloak. That gave me a random ghost, which I ended up getting the Blue Ghost. I think they're all fairly similar, but if I was to, you know, because I don't know for a fact, there's just not enough uh, information out yet. I think the green may be the best one. Uh, the green seems like it has, it has two different abilities in the red and blue. Red and blue share the first two abilities. Uh, it does. Red and blue do have the revive, which uh, se seems like that that would be helpful. Except for it's not a revive like uh, like like the Carnal has. It's a revive, kind of like. Um, like like blue uh, daggers has where they'll come back they'll have like one percent of their hit points but they'll be invincible for that one round so that, so if they end up reviving a, a, a beast of a, of a hero they may get that one really good lick in before or if you have your team uh, uh, lined up just right and you have a healer that's in there you may be able to get the healer to heal them up right as soon as they get revived I don't know uh, anyway what you what you did during the event you know, I was trying to get this up during the event to try to help, but I suck, so I didn't. <laughs> so, what you did during the event was you had to collect these Halloween dishes. Then you gave the Halloween dishes to the glutton by going to uh, this thing here and clicking on it. Then, you, as you fed it to glutton, it would give you a certain amount of shards. Um, th you'd also get, you'd also score points. Which is what I did. I ended up scoring the points. Just enough for the second place. That's how I got the blue. But real quickly, we'll go over the war patterns. Um, don't have backup information. I like to do a little research and try to figure out exactly what the game's saying they should use. And then see what other people are using. But I don't really have any of that. Uh, but what I would suggest in the meantime is use Cat. Uh, it's the, the Ghost is a support partner. So try to get his hit points up as high as you can. That way, he'll, be able to, he'll just live longer. Uh, that's just a simple philosophy. Get his hit points up as high as you can, and then speed up as high as you can. Uh, that way, he'll get more attacks in. He'll be able to help longer with the hit points. Also, being a support partner, he does a debuff. I believe um, the, at, to his first attack on all three uh, colors to give, give the chance to blind. And so that's a debuff. So you you can use the uh, you can use the Corsac War Pattern to debuff or to assist in the debuffs. That should be helpful. So use Cat and Corsac or Cat and Hippo, one of those two, or maybe Six Hippo. Some people would rather use Six Hippo. Use left hand speed. Use uh, hit point percentage on the helmet. I would suggest use Hit on the right hand. If you're not into that, you can you can just go with uh, either hit point percentage or even attack percentage. He's not really an attack partner, so I don't think I'd go with attack percentage anywhere. Except for on the 2nd through 5th attribute. On the 2nd through 5th, try to get speed, uh, hit point, hit, resistance, and uh, you know those, and even attack. Those are all kind of the normal things for your support partners. Now let's get into the, the individual colors a little bit. I'll, I'll, we can go over the individual colors and see exactly um, what their attacks are. And it will show you, they're, they're not exactly powerhouse. Uh, heroes, but they're not they're not trash either So they all have uh, on the first ability all three have what's called soul impact uh, That gives that 50% chance to blind for two rounds And that's why I think that the course act uh, the, the hit might might help out in that now mine was level 20 during the video and It was doing like 715 damage for regular damage and then when it was in if, if it did score um, a critical rate attack was doing like 1600 or 1500 which was pretty good and uh, that's also going to depend on if it's uh, if it's attacking a, uh, a cross call or not I was able to get his hit points up high enough that he didn't die every single attack and I was in cave caves are pretty difficult um, adventure to fight in y you know once you have level 40 heroes all the adventures get a little easier 
uh, you notice that it just got the, the oh, her name. Oh, the guitarist. <laughs> She's level 35, third awakening. That, that was wow. I really have a lot of respect for the people that have these six or seven heroes that have the third awakening. It was a lot to get her third awakening. I think he used four or five, five other four stars to get her there. So it takes a lot to do that. Right? All you guys that have all these uh, thir third awakenings, you know, great job to you guys. Okay, so the third ability on the blue, it's called this um, Ethereal Possession. So what that is, this is his big attack. You can at it, he attacks one enemy, steals thirty percent of their action bar, and then reduces the critical the CD, which means how long you have to wait uh, of his own skill for one round. So it's kind of a a buff for himself, a debuff for the enemy. But if you notice, that's just attacking one enemy. So whenever you have your whenever you have your partner that only does attacks on one enemy, only fixes himself, that kind of you can kind of gauge how strong um, you, the partner is just by that. Now, granted, you might be able to get his hit points up really, really high, and you may be able to get his attack up high enough that you can do some good damage. And, and you know, he does have the revive ability. Um, that's that's a second ability the revive is him and green the blue and green have this uh, I have it posted up eventually. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place, but um, So, you know, they, they do have there is there is room for them in your lineup um, Especially to get them to five star now There are some there are certain partners that I've suggested that you don't you just feed right away you, But with a four star partner, it, it's it would benefit you a lot more to run them through adventure enough times to get them to five star before you feed them off if you going to, if you decide to feed them because it's a lot better to feed off a four star as a five star to make something a six star than just give it to uh, another four star to make a five because I, I believe that all of your four stars should come from three stars you should be building up all of your three stars to make four stars and not not give any natural four stars just to make um, another four star or five star that makes any damn sense so, uh, the ethereal charge. I had said that all three have the same first attack. That was not true. The green has a different first attack. He has the ethereal charge as the first attack. He attacks all enemies and has a 50% chance to poison them for two rounds. So, this, is, this again shows the strength of green over blue and red. Um, we have an attack all situation instead of an attack one individual. So, much stronger attack. Uh, so, it also has a 50% chance to poison them for two rounds. That's additional damage over two rounds. And again, I, I believe if you get the, if you get his hit up a little higher, then you'll have a better chance than 50% to poison them. So, uh, another way to take advantage of his natural ability is to use the whatever war pattern you want at first, either cat or hippo, for the first four, and then use the. Uh, Use the Corsac for the hit. So his big attack, his third attack is called Soul Bomb. And that's when he... Uh, this is... It's not going to happen often because it's a 10 round CD. But um, whenever a partner is defeated, it inflicts a lightning bolt curse. And... Um, let's see. A lightning bolt curse, poison. It's a two round thing. This reminds me a lot of the Scarecrow's um, elite attack. When the lightning bolt curse expires, it will deal damage according, and it will ignore defense. It's all, and then it stuns them for a round, exactly as the green scarecrow does. So it'll have the cloud that's hanging over their heads, and then the lightning will go off right as the uh, ability is about to expire, and it'll, it can do some substantial damage because it's going to ignore their defense. So even um, even even heroes that have high defense are going to get damaged the same as as the heroes without. So it's pretty effective. That's that's a pretty effective attack. Um, that these ignore defense attacks don't underestimate those because one of the reasons that tanks are so hard to beat is because they have such high defense and whenever you have an, an ignore defense attack now you're able to chop away at these uh, high defense lower hit point uh, heroes green's last ability is called soul drain this is one of those abilities that happens all the time it doesn't have a specific CD so it doesn't expire uh, and that's every time a partner dies on either side either the enemy or a teammate um, it reduces the, it, it reduces the CD of his own second skill by three rounds. So as 
the attacks are going on and partners are starting to die, die his main attack, which I said it's his third um, one, but it's actually his second. His, his main attack gets reduced by three rounds, so so he's gonna have to constantly pump out his main attack the whole the whole time, basically. Uh, especially once towards the end of the attack, like people start di start dying. Now getting into the red. Remember now, this is red and blue. This is called the blessing from beyond. This is the one that revives one partner. It, re it recovers one percent of their hit points and a hundred percent of their action bar, and it also uh, it, it gives them uh, unyielding. And something else. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, this is a this is a pretty big. Um, this is their main ability, I, I would say. And this, I think this reminds me of. I'm gonna have to wait to see it myself. I, I just just so happens that in, in this adventure stage, they just weren't able to kill anyone. So I didn't get to see his uh, blessing for beyond. So as I progress, I'm gonna be able to see it a little more. I wish I I, I didn't think about this and I just put in all heroes that I needed to advance. And I didn't think about, and I wanted to see the the new witch. <laughs> I mean the new the the new witch, right? <sighs> the new guitarist. Uh, so I didn't really get to see the blessing from beyond, but I believe just by reading the description that this is going to be very similar to the the blue daggers, where he comes back and he can get hit. They can get hit a bunch of times and they won't die, even with only one percent of their hit points. I don't know. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of see that one. Um, I know that uh, the blue berserker also has unyielding, but he gets damaged. Uh, unyielding, he still gets. I think he still gets damaged even with unyielding. It's just damage is a lot less. I don't know. We'll have to see the way that plays out. I can't. I, I don't. I just don't really see them only getting one percent of their hit points back and then getting hit one time and dying. That would kind of be like a redundant ability. So we'll, we'll have to see about that. Um, but remember, blue and red both have the unyielding. No, that's not even what it's called. Both have the blessing from beyond. So the ghost, interesting partner. I um, I don't think they're overpowered. I don't think it's going to be like that. Come out the gate and just be like this uh, this powerhouse type, um, type of partner. But as a as support partners, you may be able to build a, a specialized team that is you're able to use the ghost in. Uh, if you have a choice. I think go with green because it seems like green the green has three different attacks now gr granted you're not going to get the revive ability from green but you're going to have a lot stronger of the attack and a lot stronger support from from green than you do from red and blue so uh, you know different abilities like they all have but but it just seems like uh, green has a little edge over the others so if you have green if you have any of them and you're using them uh, let me know how it works out. I'd be interested to hear from anyone. Leave a comment down in the comment section. I appreciate everyone for watching. I really do. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to the channel if you haven't subbed already, please. And until next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.